Hello everyone and welcome back to Scadia.com. So I'm sure you're all familiar with the term tumor, which is an abnormal growth of tissues that can either be cancerous, which are referred to as malignant tumors, or they can be non-cancerous or benign. But today, we'll focus on cardiac tumors. And the most common primary tumor in adults are the myximas, with 90% of them occurring in the atria. Now, atrial myximas are benign tumors. Again, this means they are non-cancerous. And the majority of the myximas develop in the left atrium, making up 75% of incidences, whereas 25% present in the right atrium. The myxima is sometimes described as a jelly-like substance or a cluster of cells. They're often hemorrhagic and are of variable firmness. They can be sessile, meaning attached at the base, rendering them immobile, or pedunculated, meaning attached by a stalk like a peduncle, which is also more common, and it may be of variable sizes ranging from 1 to 10 centimeters. Histologically, they are gelatinous material, and the myxima cells are immersed in glycosaminoglycans. The most frequently arise in left atrium, attached to the interatrial septum in the region of the fossa ovale. They're usually attached by a pedicle, as mentioned earlier, to the atrial septum. And around 10% of myximas are inherited and known as familiar myximas. So now that you've been introduced to atrial myximas, next we're going to talk about the clinical features, complications, investigations, and the treatment of atrial myximas. So keep watching. <laughs>